composition is the structure of the photograph is how the elements are arranged what is being included in the photograph and the frame what you're leaving out of the frame is consciously thinking about the emotional message you want to transmit is the visual weight that indicates if a photo is balanced or imbalanced so you can think uh, when you see a photograph which elements attract more attention um, balanced photos are peaceful static static and calm and imbalanced photos are dramatic tense and dynamic so you can think about what type of mood you are trying to convey there is no right or wrong ever ever with photography so you don't need to try to find uh, the perfect balance if you don't want to communicate a perfect balance you know you, you really have to think about what you're trying to bring in the photo you know when you're preparing to be on a call on zoom and you're like oh no i don't want this picture here so you do kind of like this and then you put like a plant over here you are composing already this is composition you are you are you you know what your frame is and you're composing what are the elements in the frame maybe your partner is naked right over there but you cannot like other people cannot see that we can, can only see what's in your frame because we live in a moment that we watch a lot of stuff we are always in front of screens i think our brains are, are already thinking in the rule of thirds this is one way of thinking about perspective is actually like instead of taking a picture that is like a front view we can actually bring kind of like a, a side view um, you can take a picture from top so you can also work with rotating pictures there is a there is many ways that you can work with background this is a curtain we have here uh, for our wardrobe that has no doors it's a paper that it's kind of like matte and this is also a self-portrait and I use this object this this paper to photograph a lot of different objects small objects because I can I actually I use this I use a table and um, the wall and just do I create my own um, infinite background there's a lot of way a lot of different ways to use reflections and mirrors and these two pictures use mirrors and they communicate very different things this is also using objects and comp composing with the ocean and then like gestures that is something that we will talk in the uh, in next sunday composition is is also thinking about for example setting the angle of the camera this is a self-portrait from 1840 from Hippolyte Bayard this image was completely ahead of its time it is considered the first ever staged photograph meaning the set and other elements of the image were prepared in of, in advance and the scene is not real the image is an act of protest so the first ever staged photograph is an act of protest Hippolyte Bayard pretended to have committed suicide in response to the lack of recognition he received for his contributions to the invention of the medium of photography and the first ever staged fo photo is you know so really ahead of its time really ahead of its time and for me there is also a feeling of being in um I don't know like underwater in this photo in 1840 making a self-portrait that is staged a form of protest and you don't have clothes on and you're pretending you committed suicide it's just like a lot of layers on the same picture and I think with you know phones and taking selfies this became um kind of like something normal for us but it wasn't before so this is a German photographer that has this conceptual work that 
was also way ahead of its time. I love Laura Aguilar's work. Nature self portrait number six is the name of this one. This is in Sandy's room. Also, I think the rule of thirds apply here. And you can see that this, this photo is actually well balanced with the fan here. <laughs> 